When and why was your engagement called off? Oh, so our engagement was called off last year around the end of November. Okay. She told me that she was going to her, her house, which her mom stays with her, and she told me that she was sleeping. And I called her mom, and her mom's like, she's not sleeping. We're over here at her sister's house. She's upstairs with that girl. So. And you know if it's coming from mama, it's the truth. If this coming from mama, it's the truth. Yeah. It's always gonna be the truth. So what happens when you ask her about this? Anytime I ask her about anything, whether it's cheating, the grass being green, or what color she's wearing today, it's a fight. Mm. Like, it's. So the temper is just on. All it's the like, time. So then why do you stay? What is keeping you there? I'm in love. Mm -hmm. I love her a lot. I've, I've loved her since probably like the first day I met her. Mm -hmm. She was, we just like clicked. We were like best friends since we first met. And also she has a daughter who I love. Mm. Do you think she's cheating again? Yes. Mm. I do think she's cheating again. I just recently started a new job. I work like 16 hours yeah. every Friday and Saturday. So I'm gone 16 hours a day, twice, every Friday and Saturday. Yeah. And ever since I started working this new job, it's like I can't get in contact with her. When I come home, she's pretending that she's asleep mm. or, or it's she don't touch me at night. And most of the time, she won't go to sleep without me. So after the six years are together, the intimacy is, is fading? No, the intimacy was there. After this new job, the intimacy, the intimacy is fading. Mm. And so she's it's just getting, recent. It's very recent. Got and, it. And she's getting very distant. Mm. My but, producer told me you think that she's talking to an old fling. Old fling, mm. yes. Who is it? So the old fling is the same girl from her mom telling on her. Oh. This girl also showed up. I give away free tablets and phones for the ACP program. So we set up in tents in different cities and different states and we give them away to mm -hmm. the needy family. Yeah. Um, so one day we were in PA and this old fling, which I call her Big Bat, because she has a huge bat. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you know you shady for that. I'm not. You it's, know it's you shady for that. It's a really big bat. So I'm gonna call her Big not Back. Big Back, not Big Back. Okay, big call back. her. Big okay. Back, Big Back is okay. big. Okay. So that being said, Big Back showed up to the tent yeah. on Friday uh -huh. in PA, and she stopped. She said something slick, and I said, "Get away from my tent, Big Back," mm -hmm. and she walked away. <laughs> she walked away, uh -huh. and then on Saturday, we were in a whole nother state. We were in New Jersey and we were um, with a couple of friends and we went out to a bar. And Tatiana started, like she tried to start an argument with me and I was trying to figure out what was wrong, but I literally laughed it off. And about, I'm gonna say 30 minutes later, guess who walks in this club? Now, there was a big, big back. back. <laughs> it was Big Back in the club, Big Back. I, okay, I gotta tell you, I don't know how it's happened, but my audience has literally picked up my personality. Whereas one minute, y'all are all compassionate, y'all are in it, and then y'all get messy. <laughs> Every single, don't bring a big back with her. Listen. <laughs> they gonna say big back for you, okay, so okay. big back came in. Yeah, okay. big back came into <laughs> the club in New Jersey. Yeah. That's when you're on a different state. So like, how did you know we were here? How the very you... next day. Mm. That is not a coincidence. Okay. It's just not. Do you ever go through her phone? Ah, she don't let me go through that phone. She doesn't I, let you go I through it. I sneak and go through it from time to time, but she always has mine. Got it. Well, it's time to meet Tatiana and hear her side of this story. So everyone, please welcome Tatiana to the show. <laughs> Hey, Tatiana, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Um, so I need to know from your perspective, why did you call off the engagement? Because it was annoying. She was being annoying. Like, it was like, when she got the ring, it was more stressful. It was stressful for you? Yeah. Okay, then. Um, what, me being more submissive to you was stressful? No, it was like, it was just more aggravating. Like, it was like a lot going on at the time. What is more aggravating? When, like, I made you do more? Which you, you made you grow up? It was being messy. It was a lot of messy stuff going on. So did your relationship change once you got engaged? Not not changed, but a little different, you know. In what way? Like 
the way she be talking, like act like she more act like she was more acting like she was my mom. Mm. Well, mm. if you don't act like I'm your mom, I won't treat you like I am. Mm. Got it. So why did you cheat then? I, f I felt like I would. It's I, my fault. She I'm, cheated because it's my fault. Because I said she cheated, so she cheated. Is that what right? you said? I'm gonna let you finish your statement. Why yeah. did you? Why did you cheat? Because like it was like she kept saying constantly that I was cheating. So I was like, I might well go cheat. Like you cheating, you saying I'm cheating, I might well go. But so, if you cheated, then you so cheated. why not make a healthier choice and say, well, if you're accusing me of cheating and I'm not cheating, I'm just gonna end this relationship. Why, why then stay and cheat? I don't know. Well, you could have left and cheated and then came back. Oh. <laughs> she even gave you another, she even gave you another path. <laughs> she okay. didn't like that path. That was too much. Are you cheating now? No. You're not cheating now. Okay, then. So what bothers you the most about this relationship? How she's just like, she's mad and secure. But I meet her that way, though. So, oh, I'm glad you acknowledged that from okay. everybody. Yeah. I mean, it is, it's glad you acknowledged that you had a part in playing her insecurities. Okay, then. Does it upset you that she doesn't trust you? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. What if you, you don't lie right about now? everything, then I would trust you. You literally will lie about the oh. sky. What just made you emotional? She cry about everything. Every time I say anything to her, she's attacked. I'm attacking her. She would rather cry and be a baby, so I have to treat her like my baby. Is Hence, that what you feel? Mommy. No. Um, do you feel stuck in this relationship? <laughs> not, no, not stuck. Because if she want to leave, she can leave. She has every opportunity. I will to help go. her pack go. I will help her find a house. I will help her move in. Matter of fact, she has her own home. And I have my own. Mm. She just never goes home. She only goes home when she wants to cheat. OK. So you're that only going home cheating. to cheat. That don't Who you mean at, I'm cheating. Where you at if you're not at home? If I'm not in the house, I'm somewhere else. You I just said you went home. Somebody else home. You was going home to go home. So if you're going home to go home, be home. Do you still like, do you still love her? Yeah, of course. It's my everything. This is your everything. I don't feel that. OK. You don't feel that? No. OK. Got it. Is this the first long-term relationship you've ever been in? Yeah. OK. And y'all been together six years? Yeah. OK. So what do you do to make up to her when you, uh, when you cheat? Like, I take her, try to take her places, or cook, or? Or try to have sex. She thinks sex solves everything. Well, listen, I think it's time to unlock the truth. Or that phone. So we unlocked Tatiana's phone, so let's get to these results. Maya wants to know if Tatiana was texting an ex-fling. Tatiana says she is not. Maya unlocked the phone. Investigator searched her text, and she is not telling the truth. Okay. He found three suspicious text messages. Maya, you also want to know if Tatiana was messaging people on social media. Tatiana says she's not. My unlock the phone investigator searched her apps, and there were no social media apps on her phone. Now, the reason I bring that up, because my unlock the phone investigator made sure that he said this note for me that he needed me to repeat to you all. He feels as if my unlock the phone investigator found this to be very suspicious for a 24-year-old woman to not have apps on her phone and believes he did not unlock her main phone after going through it. Wow. So you didn't bring your real phone? I did, that was the phone. So you switched the phones? No, well, that was the phone. Well, when it yeah, comes to phones, phone. both, um, Tatiana, you both, you both told my Unlock the Phone investigator that you have had three new phones in the last month. Yeah. Which also adds to his suspicion that he didn't get the right phone because as he was going through it, it seemed like it was almost a crazy. brand new phone. I just know I'm not crazy. So what phone was this that we unlocked? That because was... we did find the three messages that were suspicious in nature, but we are unlocked the phone investigator. He keeps going back and he doesn't feel like this could be the phone. We go through a lot of phones here. And so we can tell when a phone's been used, when it has things on it. But this is the, the one that I use. It's the one that I... I... So why would you need three new phones, though? So my first one broke, okay. and then the second one just broke. got smashed. All of them broke. They, they she broke. broke all of them uh -huh. on purpose. She broke them. Okay. Okay. What was your point of view? You said what? I didn't break them on purpose. They she broke. broke them. 
Uh, I got to tell you this right here. So you know that there, she was talking to somebody because we got three suspicious messages that you should talk to. My investigator has said that he doesn't feel as if this was the right phone. But what I'll tell you this from me and point this out, um, y'all kept saying about this mom thing. And the first thing that shocked me were when you said that I make you grow up. You know you're in a relationship with someone who is young. I believe you love her dearly, but I don't think you're ready to be in this type of committed relationship, right. which is fine. And I think what is the problem is that you're playing house, and you're playing house with an older woman who is really ready to be in a house with someone, and you're not. And I think this relationship about your ki the kid and everything has got y'all together, but y'all are unhealthy together. Mm -hmm. And I don't think she's going to be able to give you what you need. Also, I would say this, from your point of view, you do act like a mom. And you shut her down at every chance that she has lost her voice. So I understand why she talks to other people. She has not been able to that communicate. That is not completely true, though. I can only go by what I, I listen, I'm only going by what, what I say. Nothing that I say can dictate or can paint a full picture of who y'all are outside of this. I think y'all are both lovely people, but from what I've witnessed here, every time she's tried to say something, you've cut her off immediately. I didn't ask her to marry me. She I get asked that. me to marry her. I get that. I, I told her to go, and she that, won't go. And that goes to my first place. She's trying to, she's trying to play house with right. a grown woman. Right. She's not ready to play house. But she won't allow me to be a grown woman on my own. Hold like, on, but this is the thing you just said about her. You said that I will help her pack, I will help her move. So why don't you help yourself pack and help yourself move? It has nothing to do with her. It has nothing to do with her. Any woman, any woman that can sit in front of me and tell me that they are holding down two jobs with no issues, going to work 16 hours on a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday, you are doing all of this while maintaining your bills and still trying to maintain a relationship, you don't need permission from her to grow. You need permission to tell yourself to get out of this. And I'm not saying you're not a lovely person. I think that you can grow into the most amazing person right now. You are not ready to be in this type of relationship, and you know it. You know it. You know you love each other, but you know it. And if y'all can be honest with yourselves, y'all will save yourself a lot of heartache because we all see it. I wish y'all the best of luck, God, honestly. I really do because I think you're both beautiful and intelligent um, human beings. And I just, I just know that this is not going to get any healthier right now. I know this. Uh, it's not going to get it's, any healthier. I mean, it that's was over what, anyway. That's what I'm saying to you. So clearly yeah. you are cheating. Clearly yeah. you are. That's why to walk away. That's why you're walking away. Because she's going to, she, yeah. Either way. And she been cheating. She been cheating. And you don't deserve that. You don't deserve I'm that. over it. If it's over, it's over. Whatever. I'm over it. I, I truly hope you stick to that. I hope you stick to that. I will. Good, I'm good, sure good. I will. All right, good. I wish you the best Thank of you. luck. Seriously. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck.